going on everybody? James Largo, the Cichlid Shack, the Cichlidshack.com, the Cichlid Shack on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and all those other good social media sites. We are here to do another inventory walkthrough video. Um, we got 50 boxes of fish in on um, Thursday morning and we wanted to show you guys a little bit of what we got if not all of it um, got a few comments on the last videos that I need to slow down and let you guys look at the fish a little bit more uh, these videos are over 45 minutes long already uh, I'll do my best but I can't promise anything don't see anybody watching them if I get them much longer uh, what we have here is new in on Thursday uh, these are uh, F1 Mylochromus and Chus. Uh, we have males and females. The males are a little over four inches. Females a little over three. Uh, German gold rams. Looking very, very nice. Uh, have some black calvis, but they are all kind of chilling down in the grout joints. I don't know if you guys can pick those up or not. Uh, these are F1 2 inch black calvis. Uh, here's a the yellow OB breeder I've been working with to go alongside uh, you know our famous Skittles line. On to some more goodies. Uh, we have two very nice uh, high-grade cherry uh, flower horns. Uh, this one is about three or four months older than this one. Uh, so you can see it's a little bit more mature. Uh, both are nice, both getting very good. Uh, Nuco humps, this one is just uh, further along in color. Uh, wild caught Spilinotus Tanzanias and Clown Loaches. This is my um, flame breeder male, one of my project fish. Uh, down here are F1 Neolamprologus brevis. There's quite a few of them in there. Uh, anywhere from inch to probably inch and three quarter. Up here, don't know if you'll be able to see them. Uh, but these are about two and a half inch um, gold F1 gold os ocelotus um, yellow belly. Uh, my supplier says you rarely ever see them at this size. Um, first time I've had them, they're still settling in. They just got here yesterday afternoon. Uh, Julidia chromus ornatus, uh, one inch to inch and a half, and there is some two inch plus uh, F1 Cynodonis multis uh, invading the bottom of the sponge filter. There's a few of them under there too. Lots and lots of uh, Julidia chromus ornatus. Uh, down here are albino Gelidiochromus ornatus and some Gelidiochromus malariae, a few of those left. Uh, a couple two inchers and then uh, one really big one. And then I also have a Brichardi that somebody brought me. Uh, that guy's not listed, the Brichardi. If anybody wants them, let me know. Uh, have a few nice male uh, Pundamilla eyes left and a bunch of females that I keep in here to help the males stay colored up. Uh, this just has the Kanzu loaches that are for sale and then it's a hospital tank for uh, fish that got some chewed up fins and stuff. Down here, uh, fresh in, two and a half inch F1 Lensochromus acuticeps. Uh, Malawi Gars, these are two and a half inch unsexed. Obviously, I can't sex them at this size, but these are F1s, uh, all about two and a half inch. Uh, more for locals, but I believe are all on the website. 
Rosaline Sharks, Moonlight Garamis, Odessa Barbs, Cherry Barbs. Uh, the very rare but sought after Walter I. Peacocks. Uh, this is a batch that's bred in house. I have a couple of males that are starting to show at about two and a quarter, two and a half inch. There's another one there. There's a dominant male back there. Down here, black ghost knives, some black moor and calico Ryukins. Up here are uh, F1 Burundi six stripe frontosas and F1 gold head compressiceps. These compressiceps came in at a really good size. They're two and a half, three inches. You can see they're clearly bigger than the fronts that are about two inch. Oh, my puffers, the spotted Congo puffers. This is a tank that uh, a local came and did some work on. He's still gonna add some more plants and got a little CO2 tank coming in a plant light. Uh, I got my Congo puffers and white clouds and um, some guppies in here, uh, peacock gudgeons. Uh, I have a lone gulper cat left. These are the local uh, two, three in and four inch sail tanks. Uh, there's some nice fish in here. Turkis, Azuris, uh, Firehaps, uh, Benji Regal Blue, uh, I believe some Red Empress. Uh, there's a mix of a lot of two inch males in here. And then there's some three inch males out of the tubs there. On to the good stuff. Ingar flame tails are plenty. Males, females, two inch unsexed, all the way up to four inch plus males. They do not want to be on camera apparently. They're zipping all over the place. German Reds are plenty in multiple sizes from two inch on sex all the way up to five and a half to six inch big boys like these. Uh, we got a lot of them. Again, two inch on sex all the way up to five and a half to six inch males, four inch males, four inch plus males, three inch plus females, two inch on sex. Need them, we got you covered. Lots and lots of beautiful German reds. Oh, let's see, red top Lawandas. Males and females, four inch males, four inch plus males, three inch plus females. Buy colors in every size you can imagine from uh, two inch on sex up to five and a half to six inch males like that one Three inch plus females Dragon bloods orange and red ones orange ones Females got a nice pinky one here Got a few nice blue dragon bloods remaining at the Wayne Peacocks O Plenty. There's a very, very nice dominant male showing for you there and there. We have males, we have females. Uh, have some nice four inch flavescence remaining. Have two inch unsexed, we have females. Not sure where all the males are hiding, but they're in there. Sunshine's O Plenty from two inch on sex all the way up to five and a half inch big boys like that dude or that dude. I'll just back up. You can see how many are in there. We got lots of sunshines, folks. Bunch of two inch on sex bred in house. 
four inch males, five inch males, three inch females. <clears throat> five to six inch otter point peacocks. Anywhere from two inch on sex up to five inch plus males. Lots and lots of otter points. Back in stock are green face solosis. Have a lot of females, so if anybody would like to breed this beautiful fish, uh, we've listed a lot of breeding groups with these uh, beautiful fish now. Lots and lots of healthy females, lots and lots of healthy males. Kobu Regals, beautiful Kobus in many different sizes. Lots of females on these as well. Albino Eureka Reds, there's a very, very nice red male here. That's the dominant male in here. Very, very nice. We have these uh, from three inch males to three and two and a half to three inch females, all the way up to four inch plus. Big boy. I hope the red is showing up on that one. He's really red. Big five and a half to six inch. Midnight Husseris, who apparently don't want to be on camera either. These guys are very, very nice. And we also have four inch females. OB Peacocks, O oh Plenty. And when I do, when I say O oh Plenty, I mean O oh Plenty. Uh, these are all two inch uh, unsex from Skittles in here. I put a full nice batch in here. Uh, we have four inch males, we have four and a half to five inch males, we have six inch plus males, and probably lots of varying colors, uh, oranges and blues, peaches and blues, uh, the pearls, these are what are listed as the pearl OBs. Uh, lots of very nice OBs from two inch all the way up to six inch. Lots of OBs. Uh, we have a bunch of nice blue neons remaining. These fish do not want to cooperate on camera today. Uh, I only have a breeding group of Cornelii. Uh, they didn't send these, so hopefully in a couple of weeks we'll get some more of those. Beautiful red shoulder peacocks. Oh, plenty. I also have two inch unsexed and three inch plus females. Big, beautiful albino sunshine peacocks. Males, females, we got you covered. Five inch males, three inch females. Kate McClear Jakes, five inch plus. Have a few three inch females. Lemon Jake's O Plenty from two inch unsexed up to five inch plus. Lemon Jake's. We have a lot of them. We have three inch females. We have four inch males. We have two inch unsexed. We have five inch males. May Landy Sulphur Head Peacocks. Two inch on sex, three inch males, three and a half inch males, four inch plus males. Have some females in here as well. Maylandi sulfur heads. Beautiful Chalumba peacocks. Three inch plus females, four inch plus males. Again, nothing wants to be on camera today. 
This is why I usually wait a couple days after they come in, but I've had a lot of requests to get this video out, so I'm trying to trying to get it for you. Usually like to let them settle in because this is what they do if you don't. These guys don't mind being on camera. Five inch albino strawberries. Beautiful, beautiful albino strawberries. Also have a few three and a half to four inch uh, um, blue orchids. Beautiful albino strawberries. That is a tank full of um, two inch turkis growing out. You can see there's some nice males showing already. Up here are red collar peacocks. Both males and females. Down here, Eureka reds all plenty. Males, females, we got you covered. Very nice Eureka Reds. Still have a few of these monstrous six inch plus in Benji Regal Blues left. If you're looking for a nice big colorful uh, peacock for your tank, these are full grown. Females are even four, four and a half inches. The males are over six easy. Oh, got a glimpse of the female there for a second of my super reds. Progress on the phoenixes. They're getting there. F1 Dimitrochromus Kawingis. I'm not going to get too close to these guys. These guys are very skittish. That's why I have the lids up there. Um, uh, the males are about five and a half to six inch. The females about four. Uh, they're showing pretty good color already. Same with these. Five and a half to six inch Protomelis Red Empress. Four inch females. Five and a half to six inch males. Sorry about it. It's kind of dark because I got the lids on the Kawingi tank above them. Uh, F1 Buchachroma Spectabilis all plenty. Uh, you can see there's a bunch of nice males showing color in there. Uh, I know there's some females in there also. Uh, I still have that nice big uh, six to seven inch breeding group as well if anybody's interested. Um, F1 Malawi Eye Biters. Uh, these ones came in a bit smaller than I'm used to. They usually come in about six inches in full color. These ones are about four and a half to five inch. Uh, I can still probably, uh, I know I can probably sex them male and female pretty easily still. Amazing Taiwan Reefs as always. We have lots and lots of Taiwan Reefs. Uh, five inch males, anywhere from three to four inch females. Very, very nice H barring. Down here are three and a half to four inch uh, Du Boise Trophius. We have quite a few of these. Up here are absolutely monstrous um, Kadango Redfin Borley Eyes. Oh. I don't want them jumping out because they really are big. Uh, they're probably a good seven, eight inches at least. Uh, you can see that's a extra large sponge filter, which most know is, is bigger than your hand. And you can see they're clearly bigger than that sponge filter. Beautiful though, absolutely stunning. Down here are five inch more eye blue dolphins and four and a half to five inch Dimitrochromus strigatus.
Drygatus are showing really good color already. The dolphins are amazing as usual. Great color, shape, humps, they got lips coming in. It's been a while since I got my hands on some nice Strigatus. For some reason it's a fish you don't see as much as the eye biter and the Kawingi. I have a very nice big one in my show tank. I love them. Uh, that's some in-house grow out stuff. Have a few nice um, Copatochromus quadrimaculatus remaining. Uh, living stone eyes, five inch plus. There's the dominant male. And I have some four inch plus females and a bunch of five inch plus males. And I have a Protomelis herte, obvious male. And here is that group of F1. Uh, Buchachroma spectabilis, the breeding group I have listed. Uh, the male is every bit of seven, maybe eight inches. The females are over six inches easy. And I can see two of them holding, standing here. So they are breeding. Uh, let's see. Ivory head melodos, five inch males, uh, probably four inch females. Nice blazes and blue, great finish. This is that uh, Mylochroma spillus dishes breeding group from Adam C. More five inch plus uh, tangerine tigers. Nice big males, four inch females if anybody would like to breed. Uh, lots of beautiful Autopharynx ovatus. Five inch males, four inch females. And these guys are just absolutely stunning. Six inch plus Spilinotus Tanzania males. If you're looking for a nice big colorful hat, there you go. If you'd like to breed them, we also have lots and lots of females. I also have a four and a half to five inch male that I can pair with females. Beautiful Spilinotus Tanzanias. I have one five to six inch Hematilopia oxyrhynchus, the giant hap, and I got some females as well. Nicisochromus bodzulus. There's the dominant male on the tank. There is some younger, nice males coloring up as well, but here's the dominant male, subdominant male. Got lots of females as well. Xerox O Plenty. Anywhere from two and a half to three inch, all the way up to these five inch big boys. Females, males, we gotcha. There's the dominant one in the tank for sure. Electric Blue Fryer Eye and White Knights, both 5 inch, 3 inch plus females on both. Very nice White Knights and Electric Blue Fryer Eyes. Wild Caught Aristochromus Christi Eyes. I have, uh, these are the big females that are listed. Uh, wild caught females they're probably six seven inches easy and then I have a bunch of five inch males here's the dominant one colored up already probably trying to breed with those four females but I have a bunch of nice five to six inch wild caught males and some big females if anybody's interested in breeding those The Taleolethanop prior brutalis. The grow outs I've been growing. Lots of nice four inch F1 Buchachromus notitanias. 
Uh, we have some nice males showing good color already. Lots of females as well, if anybody would like to breed them. Got lots of buconodos. Still have this Lethernot Mubazi group. Uh, there is the male. And there's three females. And again, our uh, more four and a half to five inch beautiful albino Taiwan reefs. We have males and females. And I have a bunch of these um, Cynodonis epturus uh, in multiple. I have these big guys that are over five inches, and that's a Decturus. And then I have. In another tank, I'll show you, I have some four to four and a half inch ones as well. Really nice albino Taiwan reefs. Bright orange sherbet, sherbet side with the red anal fin and the white face. Very beautiful. Five inch plus Electra Deepwater Haps. There's the dominant male in there. Four inch females. Five and a half to six inch males. These are a bunch of um, Skittles offspring that I pulled out of the tubs. You can see lots of nice four inch um, orange and blue variations. They're listed on the site. A uh, bunch of angelfish, some Raphael cats, and I believe those other. Cynodonis Epturus are in here. These are the smaller ones. Still a really good size though. <clears throat> These are those wild caught Copetochroma species Chidunga yellow, Chingata yellow fin. Um, I still have a few nice males in here, uh, but I'm getting down to the gritty where I only see a lot of females and I'm, I've been holding back this dominant male for when there's only females left. Uh, to put them as a breeding group to see if anybody would want those. Let me know if you're interested in a breeding group on those. Oh, lots of goody wild caught predators that came in last uh, on Thursday. Uh, let's see, let's start with the wild caught <clears throat> Tyrannochromus nigraventers. We got males and females on those. Uh, wild caught Exochromus anagenes. There is two of those. And wild caught Buchochromus leptura yellows or the Rhodesii yellow. Uh, I got four males on those. That's a group of grow out of F1 Rhodesii yellows. Have a couple of nice uh, Indiwe fire haps remaining and some females. This is my wild caught uh, Molero Trophius breeding group. These are my true firecracker breeders. Have a lot of offspring from these guys that uh, are pushing inch to inch and a half mark now, so I'll have some available soon. <clears throat> these are the four red rainbow Trophius that are remaining. You can see they're a good, a um, couple of them are good four inch, the other two are about three and a half. I'd say the two bigger ones are males and the two smaller ones are females if I had to educate a guess without venting. Uh, Mylochromus latistrig, a long nose fry from this group here. Wild caught Tyrannochromus macrostomas. Uh, I have about a dozen of these. Uh, we believe that they're all male, uh, but it's very hard to be certain at this four to five inch size with 100% certainty. Uh, both me and my supplier believe that they are males, uh, but I, I, I didn't list them as sexable males. Uh, again, very hard with these bigger predators to be 100% certain, um, but again, we believe they're males. Oh, the rainbows, Goiter Rivers, Iranians, Kamakas, Emerald Greens. 
These are the strawberry and blueberry arowanas. Uh, people keep talking trash about them being injected and blah, blah, blah. I don't believe they're injected. I've had them for a good eight weeks now. They haven't lost any color. They've definitely gotten bigger. They're eating like champs. You'd think people get tired of trash talking, but they don't. More rainbows, albino millenniums. Oh, some Bosmanis. I believe all the yellows are gone. Need to get some more of uh, some rainbows in. Uh, the Walcott Green Discus, some Neon Tetras, Golden Veil Angels. <clears throat> There's a couple of Cobalt Discus back there. And an Albino Bristlenose play call. These are locally bred Red Devils. And we got lots and lots of assorted Ambunas that we brought in. Uh, we've added them all to the website under assorted Imbunas. Uh, it's much easier for me to bring in just a nice big assortment so I get a variety rather than, um, you know, ordering individual ones and trying to put them all in separate tanks. And It's just, uh, this is a better way to get a bigger variety. So uh, I'll just try and pan over. Uh, you can see that there's a lot and a lot of nice Imbunas. Uh, anywhere from two inch up to four inch in size and we have tanks and tanks of them see there's some young ones some big ones I believe that's a red face Mac I like those everywhere from the common to some nice uh, more rare ones there's <clears throat> another tank And here's a fourth tank. Some nice big Demason eyes in there. Here's another one of those red face Max, I think. This is my Kadango Redfin Borlei breeding group <clears throat> and my Turkish breeding group. I have them together right now. I haven't really been doing much with those two. I have a lot of Turkish and a lot of Borlei growing out, as you can see. Alrighty folks, I actually got that stuff out of the way. I can show you the Phoenix breeders now. Here is generation 10 male where all the offspring growing out are from. And I've already pulled my new sorry about that. I've already pulled my new generation 11 male. Really liking the way this guy is coming out solid blaze great orange and purple body really happy with this guy so this will be the next generation breeder lots of lots and lots of phoenixes growing out so like I said three or four months we should have a steady supply <clears throat> thanks for watching everybody hopefully I went a little bit slower this time uh, the, if you were here in person, you'd realize how big this place really is. It's hard to catch on camera, but there's rows and rows and rows. And, you know, there's 111 75 gallon tanks back here on its own, let alone the whole front. So it's a lot of tanks to cover on a video. I do the best I can. I don't claim to be a professional photographer or anything. Uh, I just try and get you guys shots of the fish so you can see for you visual people who like to see the fish. Uh, I do the best I can. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, if you have any questions, email me at jlargo20 at gmail.com or thecyclichack at gmail.com. The website is fully updated. Uh, if you don't find something there, again, email us. Thanks for watching and God bless.